Welcome back to the next episode of Wargroove 2. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm trying to finish this campaign, the Dark Skies campaign. Somewhere over the Southern Ocean is where we ended up, the dead of night. While traveling with Ragna, Vesper thinks back to how this all began. Sorry for the delay in uh, episodes as well. Uh, my birthday, I did a 24-hour stream last week. My birthday was on Valentine's Day, and I spent time with my family on the weekend, so just uh, super busy, and um, I didn't have time to record anything. So we missed a couple days, but we're back on schedule every day. Every day. All right, here we go. Felheim Fortress East Library several days earlier. So this is Vesper. Now we just fought her in the last episode. No, no, not this one, not... No, no, nothing. Zoot? How is it that none of these books mention the Fell Gauntlet? At this rate, I'll never escape Felheim. So she's looking for the gauntlet. She doesn't know that Val Valder has it? Vesper, is that you? Ah, Lord Valder. I was just reading. Reading perfectly ordinary books about the, uh... <laughs> the charming culture you have here in Felheim. Charming undead, yes. After three years of servitude, the place has just grown on me, you see. So she, at the end, at the, in the first game, she was a bad guy, or he or she. And then, I guess as punishment, they gave her over to Lord Valder to... Chaperone? Or three years of servitude? I don't know. The day you leave us will be a sad one indeed. Ragna has such wonderful things to say about your teaching. Oh. How are Ragna's Fumamancy lessons developing? Fumamancy, the uh, magic of smoke she was supposed to teach her. Ah, you see, it's just... Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> She's a perfect petite protégé. I really must show you her progress. Eventually. At some point. <laughs> Why not tonight? Tonight? I mean, uh, so soon? Surely three years is long enough to see something impressive. Besides, the kitchen is serving smoked blobfish tonight. Smoke magic would be quite the compliment, wouldn't you say? A nice one, Balder. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I do may say many things I regret. Excellent. I look forward to the performance. Farewell. Nice. Ah, uh, hold on. How do you put it? Oh, the voir? <laughs> The voir? What? Oh, the voir. Oh, he's saying au revoir, like au revoir, au revoir like his goodbye in, in French, right? Hello, goodbye. So, I don't know what he's trying to do there. He's trying to speak French? I have no idea. What's that book? Where is that girl? It's nearly time. They're waiting for Ragna. Here she comes. Politely ask to be Ned let in. Knock quietly. I'll tear you to pieces! <laughs> okay. That's just how Regna is. Oh, and I can move and talk. Uh can't talk to anybody though. Can't talk to these guys. Oops. Oh. Talk. Oh, there we go. What you got there, loser? A quiche? A nervous tread. The royal treasurer. It smells delightful. Compliment the chef from here. I'll snap you in half. <laughs> okay. Is there nothing that I can't interact with anybody else? This is a bit ridiculous. I would love to get that book, so let's go do that. Lore entry? Nice. Notable fell lords. Uh... Notable fell lords. Uh... Yeah, it gives me this title, not the name in the list. It's kind of annoying, because then you're looking for it, you're like, is it Fell Lords? It said Notable. Oh, it's Notable here. Lord Valder, King Casper the Mad, Duchess Lotner of the Curse, Sivar Thane of Sil Silenstone, Baroness Freugener the Fragile, Earl of the Doomed, Earl something the Doomed, Duke Ronak the Cruel, Count Narfi the Super Weird, Jarl Hugara the Please Repeat That. That's, it's just, it's goofy. Okay. 
nothing. Um, talk to her first. All right, my protege, just like you've practiced. <laughs> Wait, no! Much better than you've practiced, please. Hey, sure thing, big sis. Big what? So uh, before I crush this test, I just wanted to say, even though I totally could have learned smoke magic on my own, Ragna totally talks like this, bro. Thanks for sticking around. For not giving up on me. Ragna, I'm quite literally being held here against my will. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's like destiny. I feel it too. But talk time's over. Time to show you what I've got. Mon dieu. So is she French? You're ready then. She's, she is French. Hang on. Should probably talk to old Valdi first. Old Valdi. Show some respect for the Lord of the Dead, please. Good evening, Ragna. Jeez, Valder, did you have to invite the whole fortress? This is so embarrassing. Embarrassing? My apologies. I merely thought, for you, now everyone's going to see I'm stronger than you. Oh, boy. Yes, good one. Okay. What a weird level. Good evening, Felheim. <laughs> Master of Ceremonies, Valder here. Sounds like we have a dead audience in the hall tonight, eh? Oh my god. Yes, we love a good jest every now and then. But tonight is no laughing matter. I have an announcement. Yikes. The rim shot there and everything. I'm dying. What? Eventually. As a mortal man, my time in this world is brief. As such, someday I must leave you. But you could be undead. Rattle not, for when I'm gone from this world, Ragna should lead you in my stead. Really? She will need to be strong, stronger than any leader in Felheim's history. Ragna is well on her way, mastering Fumamancy in just three years. Uh. Perhaps mastery isn't quite the term. Ragna may be unable to control the Fel Gauntlet, undead as she is. But is that a weakness? Nay. Given time, Ragna shall usher in a new era. Wow. An era where the undead govern themselves. <laughs> no more shall you live in fear of losing your will to the fell gauntlet. No more shall cowardly fell lords force you to do their bidding. Tonight your future leader shows us her strength and courage. Ragna, whenever you're ready. Wow. Crush these losers. See that, Falder? Yes, yes, I'm well of your ability to smash things. I want to see Fumamancy. I'm just warming up. You guys are ready for... Special move! <laughs> Darkest Nightmare of the Soulless Umbral Void, Ragna's Smoke Show Spectacular. She named it? The morons never even managed to do it. Special move. <laughs> wow, she's surprised? Ragna. You... You actually did it! What did I do? Push those guys back one space? I mean, it was tremendously sloppy, but still, you conjured smoke for the first time. What? First? What kind of idiot do you think I am? I'm confused. It was my second. Finally nailed it last night. What do you think, Val Dork? Why are you such a douchebag, Ragna? How's that for a smoke show? Ha! Huh, what do you know? He's speechless. I must say I am surprised. Three years of work and this is all there is to show? What? Listen, Valder, I tried, I really did. This is not your fault, Vesper. Clearly the fault lies elsewhere. Whoa. Yes, I have been far too permissive of your behavior. How are you to succeed me as Felheim's ruler without sufficient dedication? And discipline! She called you a dork! Should I fail to break the gauntlet's curse before I die, how is an indolent child like you going to prevent the next fallow? I'm trying. Oh, are you? Then act like it. Eee. Honestly, Ragna, you have... embarrassed me tonight. Oh my god. 
She embarrassed her father. Go to your room. We shall discuss this in the morning. No. Oh, no. Ooh. What? What did you say to me? Oh, my God. I said... No. I'm not going anywhere. Remember who made you. Yeah, she's a golem. Yes, Lord Val. What? What happened? My head. Something was inside my head. It wasn't him, though, was it? She turned pink there for a second. You, Ragna, you used the gauntlet on me? You said you'd never. It was a mistake, Ragna. Oh god. I ought to use it on you, see how you like it. Oh. Whoa. She just takes it off him. Ragna, you mustn't. You can't. You don't tell me what to do anymore. Oh, this is what started it. She puts the gauntlet on. Okay, and then that's what starts the fallow. Hmm. Present day, somewhere over the South Sea. Hmm. Ragna? Now that you're the fell lord, we, uh... We really ought to tell the other leaders of Arania, don't you think? Nespa? Did you hear what she said, the voice actress? We could stop by Cherrystone, the Gloom Woods, Heaven Song. Uh-oh. Ragna? I have told you before. I am not Ragna. Huh? Then who? Worry not. When my business here is finished, your friend shall return unharmed. She, she's not my friend? A student, surely. Mm. Housemates, perhaps. But friends? No. I have no use for friends. Okay. I do not care. N neither do I. Okay. So she is being controlled, possessed, something, by, by some other force. We don't know who that is, right? And just where are you taking us, anyhow? South. The furthest south we can go. He is there. He is waiting. The prince. The prince! Whoa. Notable fell lords. Okay. Additional lore about Ragna. What does that say? Yeah, Felheim's top commander assembled from the remains of Felheim's greatest warriors. Right, you can see her stitches there. Currently learning Fumamancy from Vesper, just wants to make her father proud. Created by Valder to be the ultimate commander, Ragna Valder's daughter. Valder's daughter, get it? Is a patchwork assembly of the best parts of history's greatest warriors. She strives to be the baddest she can be. Though she claims to be Queen Mercia's dedicated adversary, one wonders if playmate is a more accurate term. Beyond anything else, Rishi longs to impress her creator and make him proud of her. Unfortunately, Valder isn't the sort to outwardly express pride or affection. For the past couple years, Ragna has been training under Vesper in the ways of Fumamancy, but progress is slow. In fairness to Ragna, she's technically just eight years old and barely a teenager in mind. That's why, yeah. So her ability, she can jump, land, and push back enemies by one tile. Does 50 groove damage. I imagine if you push them into other enemies, they take damage, which is pretty sweet. Okay. Meanwhile, this is the kids, the Guardian. Vesper and not Ragna make an ancient discovery near the South Pole. Oh no, we're playing as Ragna here. Weird. Hold on. Down below, is that... Land the ship now. What did they find? We caught so many fish today. A good omen for the winter to come. <laughs> Do all these uh, voices... It was somewhere here. I could have sworn. Outsiders, what should we do? Go warn the elders. I'll activate the guardian. The guardian? But I thought all that weapon stuff was a myth. Doesn't matter if it is, we have jobs to do now. Well, it kind of does matter, right? If it's not real. Will it even work anymore? It's so old. Oh, damn. There, I see it. You're quite a ways from home, aren't you? Someone's using Mother's old toys to deter us. Mother? From what exactly? Ragna, stop right there! Oh, the kids show up. Oh. My, you are a persistent bunch. Very well. Shall we? Okay, and we battle. 
both of them versus both of us. Defeat those who would stand in your way. Oh, I'm playing as Ragna against the kids. Okay. Win without defeating the Guardian. Defeat both enemy commanders in the same turn. Wow, that's tough. Okay, this is going to be just a straight, a street fight here. What is this thing? Ancient Sentinel forged of stone and crystal. After it attacks, it must rest for one turn. Really good against air troopers, mage, ballista. Can hit aerial units? Damn. Uh, oh, it can only attack people adjacent, though. Oh, boy, this is tough. These guys are good against... Ballista. Hmm. I guess Ragnar should open this. It's armor. Heavy armor. Reduces incoming damage by 50%. Uh... Could give that to a flying guy, to be honest. And then just have him go around crushing. Or should I give it to my giant? Probably should just give it to the giant, right? Giant's gonna be very tough. Um... Okay, and they've got some flyers. So, this is the key to this is going to be getting those flyers within range of my ballista. And I have to try and avoid this stupid thing. Maybe I put my general within range, hoping it attacks my general there. Um, this can go here. Those mages are going to be a problem. Let's get these guys over here. These guys crit when they're next to each other, so keep them together. Okay, weird little battle here. Yeah, I've got to hit that ballista uh, and take it out somehow. You can't beat us, Ragna. We've got unbreakable bonds. Yes, yes, you're twins. I get it. Not just us. You and Errol are pretty close too, huh, Koji? Huh? Yeah? We can't beat them with the power of friendship, though. Come on. Okay. So they've got two generals as well. This is going to be a dirty fight here. Just quick and dirty. Yeah, this thing. Whoa. Okay, it's a villager in this thing? Damn, the guardian. That thing hits rather hard, ne pa? Naturally, but it does have a weakness. It takes so long to charge that it cannot counterattack. Yeah, Vesper. We would do well to avail ourselves of that guardian. Defeat and capture it, and this battle will be over in short order. Capture it? Oh. I guess if I kill it, I capture it, and then it fights for me, but, uh... I don't think I should do that. I mean... Okay. Um... Oh, this is tricky. I want to bait with my generals and have the enemy try and attack my general here. Ugh. Yeah, maybe I will just come up here, actually. Nobody can reach me up here. And maybe... Send the general up here? Hmm. Jeez. Um. I'm gonna wait here. This guy's gotta attack. 
kill one of these things, right? Let's just hit this one. Whoever destroys the other's air force first is gonna win this match. I can't resist doing that, I think. And then this is gonna crit. Nice. Hit him with the crit here because we're over a mountain. And then they only get to hit us back for 19. One of our guys is going to die to this ballista. There's nothing I can do about that. Ugh. I'm going to send this guy north. Okay, I think I can hit most of the battlefield from here. Ooh. Why is that a hundred? Wow, I'm not sure why I'm doing so much damage there. Oh, the minus two from being in the water. Wow. That's pretty sweet, actually. Wasn't expecting to wipe those guys. Okay, let's get up here. Okay. We've got to kill both of their generals in the same turn. It's kind of crazy. Okay, these guys crit. It's a little bit annoying. Okay. Yeah, they're baiting. I, this is why I was using my general here. Hopefully the enemy attacks my general and not my other units. This guy, yeah, we knew one of our units was going to get shot down. That's fine. Ah, shit. Is that a crit? Oh, this guy's... Very low HP, never mind. Errol, now's our chance. Right. Huh? Wait for what exactly? Let's go fight by Koji. <laughs> I bet he'd be so impressed if he saw you smashing up a skelly. Or let's shut it. What? This battle's in the bag. I'm just trying to help you out. Okay, there's Koji and the other general. I've got to try and surround them with flyers and just kill them, right? How? Okay, ostrich unit down here. Yikes. Uh, yeah, okay. Um. Okay. So I can take out two of their flyers here. Let's do that. Okay. And I've got to hit this thing. Try and kill their ballista here. Um. Maybe I should attack their general here. 30. Um. I'm going to do it. This guy's got the armor. Okay, I'm not sure if, uh, oh wow, I couldn't kill them. I'm not sure if this is a mistake leaving this guy here. I could get wrecked, possibly. Okay, ignoring this guardian. But it's going to have a turn this turn. It's going to actually attack this turn, which is a little scary. You're wasting my time. Yeah. Um, so maybe I just put this here. And do this. Okay. And let's surround them. This was the plan. See if we can bottle in their general here. Okay. Ugh. Could heal the general a little bit, but now this, this other general can't reach him, so it's just the guardian that's gonna attack me here. Which shouldn't... Oh, and that guy. Uh, 
I don't know how hard the Guardian hits. Hopefully it's not like 25% of my life. That would be bad. Ooh. Okay, absorbing that damage. Not doing... Oh, I'm critting now, right? When it's below half? Yeah, nice. That's a crit. Koji, a little busy here. What's up? Doesn't the arrow look a little bit cold? I bet a ride with you and Tenko would warm him up. Orla, Errol, you can warm up on the ship after we stop Ragna. I'm fine. Weird. Okay. Yep. Shit. That's a crit. Ow. Okay. Oh, no. They're hitting my ballista here. Okay. Uh-oh. This might kill my guy. No! The armor. Nice. Okay. And the guardian. Wow, it killed me! Holy shit! That's 30%? It did 30% of my... Stay down. Vesper, get somewhere safe. This vessel would be rather upset if you were to perish. I lost though, didn't I? Oh, I still play. Oh. I thought I'd lose if I lose my general. Um... Could just put some damage on their commanders here. Let's do it. I'm trying to kill these guys if I can. Um, okay, that's a crit, but only for 2%. But that's fine. Because I'm going to heal here, I think. Ooh, she's got her special move as well. So, let me see this again. Uh... 50% groove damage, push back enemies by one tile, and it's four squares. Okay. Uh... How is that gonna work? Um, it doesn't hit allies, right? This is weird. Uh, I'm going to move here and not do anything with him. And then she's gonna do shield jump here. Push back Koji into the wall. I wanna see if that damages him. Oh yeah, that did big damage, nice. You children couldn't be older than what, 14, 15? Try 13. Goodness, you should be at home or playing outside somewhere. Why pick up a blade? Balder needed us, nobody else even wanted to come. Ah, so the adults failed and now you're stuck with the mess. Centuries on and the world has yet to change. Okay, I'm gonna use my priest to heal here, I think. I've got to kill these guys on the same turn. Can I do that this turn? Um, 18. This is not going to kill him. Okay, I think next turn I can kill them for sure. That's gonna kill him. Oh! Seven damage. She's at 13. Oh, this is so close. I could heal. I could kill him. Oh, I think I can kill them this turn. Let's do it. Okay, Koji down. Did she did he say I'm sorry, mom? Oh his wife his mom is the emperor, right? Empress. Koji, oh no! Dine Vret Koji Errol can tend to your wounds. He's got a healing touch. Orla, this isn't funny. Ugh, what is with you guys today? 
Okay, and that takes that out. Yeah, because once we clear the space there, the mage... I was going to say, I could heal my other unit with the mage and have the other unit fly over there, but... Got them both in the same turn. That should be three stars. Didn't have to defeat the guardian. Nice. Everyone get back to the ship now. Errol will let you sit next to Koji if you want. Okay. <laughs> There's still... She won't shut up about the, the crush this kid has. A typical big sister. Hey, Koji. Errol's got something he wants to... Oh, God. You guys. We do not have time. I told you before. Stay out of my way. Oh, the writing is red now, not pink. Weird. What is this? Oh. Wow. Errol! Orla! Hang on! Oh, shot their ship down. With the Guardian? She took control of the Guardian. That was weird. Okay. Northern Lookout. Silence. What is this? Oh, we crashed. Errol, there you are. Thank goodness. We fell an awful long way. Well, anyway. We should probably see if we can dig our stuff out of the crash, eh? Let's go. Search. Orla found Sparrow Bomb times one. One of Koji's splody birds. That's gotta be useful, eh, Arrow? They're not. Okay, he's being weird, right? I'll just hold on to it then. Into her back pocket. Item get. Weird. Okay. Orla found a pair of wet wooden planks. Bet you we could use this wood to get a fire going. It's wet. What do you think, Errol? Ooh. Oh. I guess they might need to dry off a bit first, huh? Put the giant wooden planks into her back pocket. Okay. What is this? A chest of 100,000 gold coins. What? Errol! I've never seen so much gold in my life. Right. We're rich. You're right. Guess gold's pretty useless here. Still gonna keep it just in case. Hundreds of thousands of metal coins into her back pocket. Oh, we probably shouldn't have stayed here. Smoke's getting in my eyes. What is this? Look, Errol. A house. Let's try to find a way over there. Oh my god, what are we doing here? This is so weird. This game normally has no single-player component like this. Use bomb. Okay, the sparrow bomb, right. Hey, Errol, think you'd use your magic to help me get rid of this boulder? Oh. Or we could just use the sparrow bomb, I guess. Okay. Koji's a genius. Wish he was here now, huh? Errol's pissed. He's had it up to his eyeballs with his annoying-ass sister. Just exploring. Don't want to miss any random stuff I would hear. Hey, Arrow. Up for a snow fight? I'll let you have the first throw. You're right, we should save our energy. Hmm. What is that? What is what? The waterfall? How far down do you reckon it goes? Oh shit. Oh my god. Orla found a nest of giant rabid fell bats times one. Wow. Errol, what, what should we do? You got a plan, eh? Run. Wait. Dragons like gold, eh? Take the lot. Please. Let us go. She dumps 100k. Orla found minus 100,000 gold. Phew, that was close, huh? Weird. 
It's getting dark. Let's keep moving, eh? Can't go down, I guess. Yeah, okay. Interesting stuff. Uh, era, look! The gap here is small enough that we could use those two wooden planks to get- yeah. So all these items, one half of the pair of wooden planks. Ha! Let's go! Yeah, all these items we found are now coming in useful. Another spot for a bridge. Mind helping out with this one? Errol's having none of it. Yeah. He's not happy. Um... Never mind. I've got it. Lore? Orla found a strange book. You unlocked the lore entry. Ancient journal. Ancient journal, huh? After more than a decade, I finally found part of the accursed weapon crafted by Queen Maestra in the early days of the war. Kinshiro's journal. Maiden tells me one half corrupts life, the other death. There's already a soul bound to this weapon. Thank goodness we need not find another willing sacrifice, or worse. We will begin construction of a silent temple immediately. We must deter all from seeking this power until the end of time. Kinshiro the Troubled. Seeking that... The, what power is he talking about here? I like... I like exploring. Want to make sure... Oh, arrow, looks like there's a road up ahead. Nice. Uh-oh. The dragons are over here. It's nighttime now. Arrow. Say something. It's giving you the silent treatment, lady. I'm scared. Please, didn't he do this to me? Not again. Did he not talk? You were just like this after Ma was gone, too. He didn't speak to us for months. Yeah. You wonder why I tease ye and proud prod ye like I do. It's because for months it was the only thing to get you to talk to me. Okay, maybe I gotta f too f go too far sometimes. I'm sorry. I just wanted for my brother to talk to me again. Okay. Oh, fire. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't think he cared. All that stuff you were saying at the fight with Ragna, and after I told you to stop. I know I'm sorry. I just... If I said the wrong thing, if I messed up, hey, I... He's a prince, anyhow. I bet his guards don't want me to hang around him. I bet Empress Tenry wouldn't let us hang out anymore. If they say one word, I'll shoot. I'll off them all. You know I would. If <laughs> you want me to, of course. Or you don't have to tell him at all. Your choice. Yeah, his choice, exactly. Thank you. I guess it doesn't matter anyway. Can I talk to him at all if we both freeze out here? Okay. Are you laughing? Ha <laughs> ha, we can't do it if we're dead from exposure. Ha ha ha. What? If it came to that, I'm glad you're here with me. I love you, Orla, always. Um, so they've crashed in uh, some part of this frozen southern continent here. Ancient journal unlocked. Okay. Little brother Vivi, a pair of old friends share fond, me fond memories of the past. A lot of story missions in this episode. Or lots of story, uh, you know, exposition here. Valder, dearest, wake up, wake up. Your father says we have to leave now. Valder when he was a kid? Oh dear, is it too late? Valder, dear, listen. I'm going to help your father downstairs. Mommy needs you to get your coat and run. Oh yeah, this is when his village got attacked. Whatever you hear, you keep running, okay? Just keep running. Valder, you have to keep going, okay? Don't stop. Don't ever stop. Valder, Valder. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. 
Jeez. This game is bizarre. It takes turns. One turn, it's uh, goofy dad jokes and silly, like, childish stuff. And then the next turn, it's, like, dark adult-themed stuff. It's very strange. What happened? I, I like it, but uh, it's just a very... It seems like a confused, like, world. It's, it's strange. I don't know. I kind of like it. I like it, though, but... Yeah, I wish it was all one or the other, maybe, right? What is this place? Or more clear in, in where it lies. Oh good, you're awake. Now that we've saved your life, tell us why you've come here or I'll end it. <laughs> I mean you no harm. Oh yeah? Tell that to your red-headed friend who tore through here yesterday. Red-haired Ragna. Where did she go? So you are working with them. I must tell the elders. This is out of hand. Valder, get your butt out here. That's Major Shosa. Oh, it just knocks them over. Okay. There's trouble outside. What? Who let you out of your cell? I did. These people mean us no harm. Besides, there's an emergency. What's happening? What? Major, what's going on? Where are the twins, Prince Koji? Huh, I haven't been able to find them. Oh boy. But look. Whoa. Oh, it's this guy again. Trying to possess the uh, villagers. Slaughtering the villagers. Good children, wonderful children, Odvar. The fell gauntlet is near. I shall claim it in the name of our family. Okay, more outsiders. It is as we feared. It is worse than we feared. Yeah, they're attacking you. Is that... No, it couldn't be. Valder! When the fallow began, I assumed you died. How unfortunate. Ooh. Am I supposed to know you? What? What an ungrateful little man. Whoever you are, your path ends here. Okay, so they know each other. Snee hee hee. I'd like you to try and stop me. Okay. Interesting. Ugh, this creep. You know him? I know he's using the dead to prey on the living. He must be stopped. Defeat Odvar or defeat the enemy stronghold. Okay, overview. Win without attacking Odvar. Defeat five enemy units with the air trooper critical hit. That's this thing. So it's got to be another air trooper opposite. That's tricky to set up. Okay, and how expensive are these things? Four hundo. Okay, we've got a chest here as well. They start me with a dragon unit. Review dragon, sure. The Ryu is Heavensong's dragon unit. The Heavensong Ryu Mark I is the result of many years of research and development. The frame of the Mark I is a masterwork of engineering, emulating the many bones and joints that make up the skeleton of a real dragon. Years were spent assembling and restoring bones found in Dragon's graveyard as part of the research process. The MK required the... MK1 required the development of new lighter materials, countless test flights, intense training, and a great many late nights. The result is an artificial marvel capable of keeping up with the strongest of airborne beasts. The soldiers that pilot the Ryu wear the Mask of the Dragon as a mark of, well, piloting a giant dragon. <laughs> Vulnerable to anti-air units, can't attack air units. It's a bomber, basically. It does massive damage to ground units. Crit when the target's on a road. Wow, and this is just all open here? This tower is going to be very important as well as that structure right there. I would love to build another one of these storks, but honestly, the first thing I need to do is build a wagon. And we need to jump all the way out to this and grab it immediately. So let's put the wagon here. You and your soldiers need not tarnish yourselves by coming to my aid. I am no stranger to fighting alone. Feh, I've worked with worse men. Besides, we've got people to protect. Uh, okay. Um. Shit, I want to open that chest, but not now. I'd rather get money here. Okay. And I could send the bird north. Let's do that. Okay, can't build anything else here, so we are done. Alright. Sweet children, blessed children. You may not believe me, but that little boy of a man over there, he was once part of my family before he abandoned us. Good riddance. Part of his family? What is he talking about? I have no family. I was orphaned at the dawn of the last fallow. I am all that remains. Interesting. Okay, the enemy's got a lot of ground troops. They start with way more troops than we do. Oh, that anti-air unit is coming right for my dragon. They start with two anti-air units. 
I'm hurt, I really am, after all we did for you, little brother VV. You... Oddvar? The whelp remembers all that's missing from this touching reunion is for you to die on your knees. Okay, VV. That guy's your brother? Decades ago, when the fallow came, Oddvar was one of the other children I escaped with. The six of us traveled together for a time, but never mind, it matters not. Uh, okay. Oh, man. Drop him here. Yeah, that guy can't attack me. And then this guy will be ready to go. Ooh, I should grab that immediately. This guy can capture? Oh my god, I had no idea this guy could capture. I forgot. That's incredible. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I've got to be very careful here. These guys can move very far, and they can kill my dragon very easily. I think I'm just going to move the dragon up here. That's why they start me with a bunch of mages here. I also need to build uh, anti-air guys here, so... Shit. Seven hundred gold. I could build a flyer and a soldier. Let's use all our money. It's gonna be a tough fight. Okay, we have to kill. So we have to win without attacking Oddvar. So we have to destroy their stronghold. Little Vivi, I was so surprised when I heard you'd become Fell Lord. Time was you couldn't even look at a skull without bursting into tears. Hmm. Yeah, they hit my wagon. So now my flying... My, my wizard can take out this flying guy, which is great. Okay. That guy's gotta die. Interesting. Those guys are attacking... Trying to attack my other dude. My stork. Besides, I was the one with real leadership experience. Okay. Wasn't it your leadership that got two of our group killed? Stealing from desperate people, honestly. We do what we must to survive. Besides, they'd have lived if little Vivi hadn't been too scared to join us. Douchebag. Um, I want to send this guy out to get more... Capture more cities. Okay, that is a lot of income I'm building up here. Okay, this guy's got to take him out. Nice, that's huge. Um, I'm gonna capture this. Okay, this guy's gonna attack my dragon. Next turn, that guy can move up there. Let's wait here. Oh, I can get this? Whoa! What is this? Scout's ring. Plus one movement, plus two sight range. Shit, could have used this. And push. Yeah, that's also very good. Can I give it to... Wow. Okay, I'm gonna give this to my dragon here. And then I have a thousand gold. What am I making every turn? I'm making a thousand a turn. Yeah, I just rapidly captured all this stuff, right? So a thousand a turn to play with. I really want one of these guys, the Sky Riders, just to wreck their, their flyers. So I think I'm going to go with that. And then probably just another Swordsman here. Okay. Turn three. Yeah, they're going to attack my my general, but that's fine because we've got a, a mage right next to him ready to massacre those flyers. Yep. I don't think they're going to break it. We'll see. No. Nice. Good. Ah, that will break it. Okay. Absorbed a couple of their attacks, though. That's the advantage of being the first to capture a building. It takes, you know, a couple of your enemy units, movements, and attacks to reset what you've taken just by a simple action of capturing, right? You were always such a scared little crybaby, crying about how cold our camp was, crying about having to eat my specialty crispy baby deer buns with rotwood, rotwood aioli, crying all night long about your stupid parents. Is that how you lost the gauntlet? It got tired of your whinging and flew away? Wow, what a douchebag. 
rubbing it in. It may please you to know, I shed the last of my tears the morning I left your group. I've not cried in 20 years. How could I forget that day? You were too scared to join me for my greatest plan yet, an alliance with the army of the undead. Okay, buddy. Keep capping. Income's going through the roof. Um, this is interesting. I kind of like that with this guy. Oof, so close. I need to kill this flying dude. Okay, this guy takes him out. Good. And I think this guy... Yeah, this guy has to take out the flyer here. This guy is so dangerous. These, uh... A, uh, like anti-air flying units they're very scary and then I could recap here or I could get in the wagon and bounce but this guy can load himself in the wagon come over here okay that guy's ready to go yeah I'm kind of tempted to just grab this okay now we have total air superiority so now I can just push in and wreck them here They've got that guy, but he's not going to be good enough. I'm going to send the dragon around south and then straight up to their place and try and wreck it here. Uh... Yeah, just double checking here. That guy can't touch me here. 13, hundo in the bank. Uh, okay, I need to get the other... Yeah, I need to build a bunch of these idiots to get that other gold star, right? And let's build... I could build a Ballista, but they don't even have a... Oh, they do have a tower. I already have an anti-air unit. I think I'm just going to build a Tiger Lance here. Uh, I didn't move somebody? Oh, Valder. Um, capture this again. This guy's our last dude. Okay. Nice! An alliance with the undead, a death wish during Fallow. How did you manage to do it? Even now, why don't the undead tear you apart? Oh, is little Vivi jealous? How about this? If you can beat me, I'll tell you my secret. Okay, easy. They attack with their flyers again. This is the last good hit they're going to get on my general. The other two units are almost certainly going to be attacking the tower again to free it up. Oh, great. They throw themselves at this. Not going to kill it, and then they're going to take some damage here. That's perfectly fine. Okay, here comes Odvar. Yeah, this breaks went to the tower again, but that's okay. Oh, they couldn't even do it. Nice, because they're weaker. Yes. Because I don't know about this attack. I think this attack is based on something other than how much HP it has. When they attack a structure, the retaliation there. Okay. I've got to get this guy up to his buddy so they can tag team people here. I've got to get five? Five? Defeat five units with the crit. Oh, that's even more specific. Not just five crits. Jesus Christ. Um, okay, I just have to take out that last flyer. So let's do that now. Uh, yeah, let's do it with him. Okay, so this guy goes down. Wiped out their air force. And then this guy can come in here finish this guy off. And now he's on a mountain space, so he's critting. Uh, that guy's gonna shoot me if I go there. I don't really give a shit, do I? I think I'm still gonna hit these dogs. Okay. These guys can continue to move up. Moves up. And this guy can push people. Um, let's reinforce Valder here. There we go. And let's make more cranes. Oh, they've got a ballista. No flying units, though. Oh, I could have strong-winded there, I just realized. 
but here we go. Capture this. And now this guy can go pick him up. Oh, he's not even done capturing everything here. Uh, Ballista. Hmm. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Uh, am I missing a unit here? Valder. Ah, oh, the dragon. So, I guess I'm just gonna crit this guy. 188 damage. There's no way anything can touch me here, right? Yeah. I just want to keep this dragon safe. This is the- the dragon is the way I'm gonna smash their fortress here. Oof. Get wrecked. Okay. They've got a knight now. You know, Vivi, as much as I've enjoyed our little chat, some of us have things to do. Here's an idea. If you hurry up and die quick enough, I might take your corpse to witness my ascension. Talking all that shit, huh? What the hell was that? Oh, he's got- I've got to look at his equipment. He's got some kind of magic item or something there. Wow, they attacked the house? Okay, instead of attacking my unit, they attacked the house. I'm fine with that. Couldn't even kill it. Yeah, that does the same amount of damage. Doesn't matter how much health it has. Okay. That is acceptable. That ballista is a problem. Okay, I could just smash this ballista. Nothing they can do. This guy can't even save him? Yeah, this dragon is nasty. Bam! Leaving your AA vulnerable. Valder, careful around the loudmouth. He's savage. Blows up his own units just to mess with you. That's what he did there. Noted. Thank you. Verge of death. Unit gains extra defense boost. Explode an ally dealing. Okay. Unit. The unit he targets? It. No, or he gains. He gains the defense boost, right? Interesting. Um... Valder just recap this. Hmm, this is a crit. Putting him to one? It's pretty good. Damn, so close to killing him. Oh my god, one percent. <laughs> kind of funny. I'm just gonna ignore him at that at this point, I think. Um Okay. Ooh, the strong wind. I totally forgot I could blow these dudes into the holes and stuff. Uh... Damn it. Hex drains some HP from them. Hold on, let me check this ability again. It doesn't... All enemies, okay. Deals 10 damage. Um, hmm. Get this guy up here. I think I'm just gonna attack the archer. Just wanna keep the only ranged unit uh, at bay here if I can. I'm attacking with only 70% strength. Not doing a ton of damage there, but okay. Hmm. Load him up. Ah, uh, there's another aerial unit. Um... Okay, so this guy's gonna have to come up here. And the knight... Shit. It's gonna hit my healer, right? Ah. It's gonna hit this guy. Damn it. I'm gonna lose that guy, there's nothing I can do. So let me see here, if I move here, I can go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna go here and wait to charge next turn. 
More cranes. Let's build a giant dude. Oh, I should have probably built him here. Oops. Build a dude there. We have so much money. Uh, we're getting... What? Valder's getting zero. Oh, my income... Oh, my gold is zero. Sorry, I'm looking at gold. Income is 1,600 a turn. Wow. Okay, I used everything. This means I haven't moved somebody? Oh, the wagon, right. Uh, this guy's gonna hit me no matter where I move up there. Could drop this guy. Oh, that's a hole. Could drop this guy on a mountain somewhere, like right there or something, but then that guy's just gonna crit him, right? I'm gonna put this guy here. I wanna bait that, that attack there so that I can kill him with my anti-air unit uh, the turn after. Ooh, blowing up his unit. Yeah, hurting my flyer. Yeah, that's the crit I was expecting, but now I can crit back with my knights. Should do it. Yeah, the wagon survives. Wagons are tough. They're great, uh, like, you know, at controlling a, a road or a narrow path. And you just block it off with a wagon, protect your units. Lock in a commander or something. Ouch. Okay, taking a little damage, no big deal. Okay. So, I need to start critting with these bird dudes. Uh, so, let's see. This guy goes here, finish him off. Yes. You thought I could get away from me? Okay. Oh, I can't. Uh, okay, never mind. Okay, this is an easy hit here. Oof. Get wrecked. Okay, attack this thing. These are the, the decisions that don't require much thinking. I try and get those decisions out of the way early if I know that, uh, you know, these kind of, like, I know exactly what I'm going to do with some of these units here, right? We're going to create here. Okay. And then this guy can, uh, oh, this guy can hit it all the way up here. Let's do that. Wow. He did not do a lot of damage to those dogs. Uh, let's move Valder here on the defensive area. Nice. Okay. This wagon is looking beat up, but uh, that's okay. Okay. Attack here. Move all these guys up. Uh, God, I need to start critting with these guys. Defeat an enemy. So I'm actually just gonna get these guys right up here and not attack. I'm just gonna wait for next turn when I can actually kill them. Uh, let's attack the dog here, I guess. Can't attack me back. Get in a little cheeky shot there. Okay, now I can start building these guys up here. And... Trebuchet's nice. Okay, let's send this dragon in to end this. Oh, I've got to just hit this thing, which I will do. Bam, the dragon now has access to all of their bases, so I, as soon as they spawn a unit, I just come in there and destroy it. Um, okay, and we've got other places I can build stuff. This is where it gets confusing. I know that, you know, if if I've used uh, all of my units, it'll still not auto-pass the turn because this is active, even though I can't buy anything. I really wish it was smarter about that. If it knows I can't buy anything, it should not leave it like this. But let me just go back over and make sure I didn't miss any units. I don't think I did. Okay, let's end the turn. Alrighty. Oh, the explosion. 
Sure. Okay, time to start getting these uh, critical hits in. Okay, fine. Okay, so check this out. Let's do this first. So I've got this into an attack here. Wow, these guys... Oh, they have four defense, that's why. Okay, now this is going to trigger one of the effects, right? One of the, uh, the, the conditions that I'm trying to meet, which is crit... That was a critical hit, yeah. Opposite... Opposite to the target. Across from the target, right? Pretty sure I did that correctly. I should have actually looked a little closer, but... Okay, let's just keep smashing these ballista every time they make one. Um... Shit, how am I gonna do this? Uh, I have to let them build units here. Hmm. I have to let them build more units so I can get these remaining crits, actually. Okay, let's move these guys up because they are gonna get ready to charge that thing very soon. Um... Keep hitting it. Okay, now the wizards can take it out. Crit. Um, and where do I want to keep this guy? I guess just over here, right? Next to the tower. I can do the strong wind thing, but I don't really need to. Yeah, I didn't need all these guys. I just need to build a ton of these stupid cranes. Okay, now I've used all my bases, so there is a unit I have not clicked on. It's the drag- no, I used the dragon? Valder. Yes, hiding in the bushes here. Uh, let's just slap one of these. Okay. This game is over, I believe. I'm gonna just go for the three stars here. That guy can- no! God damn it. Okay. Oh, they can shoot back, right. Oops. Um, it's these guys. I have to get these guys close enough to these forts to be able to start critting the enemy units as they come out. Ugh. Okay. Let's back up a little bit. I can't attack that archer. I've got to save the archer for the, uh, the stork units, the air troopers. Okay. Wagon comes back down. Capture this. Capture this. More storks. <laughs> That's all I'm recruiting. Okay, there's these guys up here, but again, I need to save them for the storks. Uh... 
Hmm. All right. Valder, again, got to save him for the storks. I'll put him in range so that that guy will attack him. Uh, there's this base I haven't used, so it's probably that. I think I moved all of my other units. Okay, so come on. Last thing to do is get a few more of these stupid crits. Let me make sure I'm... Oh, rude. God damn it. Good. Um... Okay, wait. Uh, I have to damage these guys, but not kill them. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Thankfully, there's no time limit here. This is a crit. Okay. Now if I just leave a couple guys like that next to each other, should be okay here. Okay, let's hit this guy. They attack us back. Uh... Oh, they made a knight unit there. Okay, I can't actually kill this building just yet. Uh, reinforce. Nice. Okay. Giant smash. It's just got big club, big square, you know, metal nubs for hands. Love it. Okay, that's a crit. Oh, but we're missing a chunk of health, so it's not going to break it in one shot. Knights can normally smash it open in one shot, but uh, if they crit. Okay, take this out. I'm just going to skip this real fast, because most of these things do not matter. We just need to get a few more crits here, and we are good. See, I need a stork on the other side. If I do this, I hope the knights don't kill themselves next turn by attacking my dudes. They might. Um... Just all the storks. Uh... They smash... Okay, I think... Oh, and my dragon. Um... Smash this, I guess. Okay, let's end the turn. What do you got? Knight still bothering me? Okay, sure. Hit my guy, it doesn't matter. Kill my bird. Okay, we've got more birds where that came from. They didn't even build a unit? Come on. Oh, they did, yes. Okay, that's a crit. Good. That's three. Uh... Damn it, that's not a crit. Um, I guess I'm gonna do it anyway. I mean, it's a crit, but it's, sorry, it's not gonna kill them, right? Yeah, they've got three defense. Uh, okay, we've captured every single thing on the board. Uh, smash this. Okay, so can I kill this thing? Um, wow, this puts it to 1 HP? Okay, we can do this then. Hit it with that. Hit it with this, that's another crit. Okay, I think I just need one more. Uh, 
Um... Hit this thing a little bit more. <clears throat> Alright, we don't need all these units, but here we are. Moving them anyway. Um, yeah, because I don't want to attack that guy. I am just going to end the turn. Doesn't matter what they do here. We're going to kill them next turn. Okay, great. So... That should do it. Yes. And we'll let the dragon have the honor of smashing... Oh, it's not going to kill it? thought it was. Okay, fine. The knights. Nice, another three stars, pretty good. 3,700 gold in the bank. Jeez. Okay, come children, help your father. They won't listen to you, they never did. But I don't understand, how have you traveled with them this far? Even now, why don't they devour you? After you all left me, I learned a simple trick. Odvar's patented method for blending in with the undead. All you need is a few good memories. Making pot pies with your parents, sitting by the hearth with your dog, fishing with grandma, take all your memories from before the fallow, and burn them. Hollow yourself out. After that, nobody can tell you're alive at all. Not the dead, not even you. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful, being free of all feeling? What a c clever child I was to figure that out all by myself. He's crying. Odvar. Vivi, that dead look in your eyes, did you learn my trick too? Oh, you're much better at it than me, so that's how you came- you got to be Fell Lord. Where do you think you're going? Perhaps it's only right you take the gauntlet for yourself. I care too much for my family to abandon them now. Come, children, it's time to go home. Wow. Did he just die? Okay, another three star? Beauty. That was weird. I think he died. There you are. Been looking all over. <laughs> uh, you all right there? No, I suspect not. I thought I'd escaped the fallow as a child. Has he been with me all this time? When I saw Odvar's army chasing villagers burning homes. I was a child again. I couldn't breathe. I had to fight myself to move. Yeah, I get it. Back at Cherrystone Castle, when I saw your bonehead soldiers coming up the hill, I went back to, to the invasion at Heavensong Palace years ago. I don't even remember the fight. Seeing Koji snapped me out of it. I'd do anything for that kid. Maybe someday. The world will be safe enough that we don't have to go back all the time. Even if I never see that world, I hope Prince Koji does. Ah, our dear friends. How are we? How are we? Nice and warm, enjoying the mushroom soup? It was a little bitter, to tell you the truth. Wonderful. <laughs> all right, we've got another job for you. Let's go. What? We just saved all your butts. Look, I realize it isn't fair, but we're all in grave danger. Those red and white-haired ladies that came through town before, they're on their way to awaken something dangerous. Something the villagers here have been protecting for centuries. I can explain on the way. Come on. Okay. Long ago, far to the north. Long ago. The nations of Cacophony and Silmore were to be united by blood. A marriage. All seemed well. But before the wedding, the countries were embroiled in bitter war. This is Cacophony, the base symbol. Base clef. To win the war, Cacophony's queen forged an abominable weapon. A weapon that corrupts life and death itself. The queen's son was horrified. How could his mother use such a power against their neighbors? In protest of the war, Cacophony's prince stole his mother's weapon and ran off with the heir of Silmor. Wow. They eloped? The pair resolved to take the gauntlets as far from human humanity as possible. To the very end of the world. But their path was fraught with danger. And one of them would not survive to journey's end. Wow. Come on, Tenko. 
Uh-oh, his robot's breaking down. We can't stop now. Everyone, they're counting. Counting on me. Uh-oh. Come on, Koji. What did Mom teach you? Imagine. Someplace safe. And warm. Oh, hey, Errol's here. Of course he is, dummy. It's his house. Hey, you're leaving? Don't... I haven't even told you... Told you... Oh. Shh! What's he saying? What's he saying? Oh, man. What? What's going on? I fell asleep? I died? You're alive, Egypt. Egypt, idiot. You're alive. Yeah. Where is everyone? Uncle Shosa, Valder? Dine Ken, it's just us. We saw some balloons heading south a few hours ago. He was going that way, till Errol took off in the blizzard like a loony. Said he saw something. I didn't know how... I didn't... I didn't ken how he noticed you. He did? Thanks. Uh, are you okay to walk? Or did you need more rest? I feel great! We've still gotta stop Ragnar, right? What are you all waiting for? Hop on. Okay, giving them a ride. Nice. Okay. Nope, there's more. According to legend, half the weapon is buried somewhere north where the first prince perished. But the other half, the more dangerous half, the one we fear most of all, it's in the south. Felheim. Oh, I can move this. South Pole Settlements. Nice! All right, three star, three star, perfect. Uh, batting a thousand this session is great. I will see you in the next episode. Have a great week. Peace.